Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here with a video follow-up about the Blue Advanced A4 2019 phone. This phone, when I ran it through Malwarebytes Anti-Malware for Android, the Malwarebytes Anti-Malware scanner for Android from the Google Play Store managed to flag the system UI component of Android on this particular device as Android dot potentially unwanted program known as android dot pup hidden ads dot add sys and what it reveals is the system ui on the phone is known as android dot riskware so obviously <clears throat> my suspicion was correct that blue has had a malware incident before where blue the company in america that designs phones obviously had the phones made in China and malware was preloaded on the device a long time ago. It's Blue Products Inc. It's designed in Miami, Florida. And obviously the Malwarebytes anti-malware for Android flag this is malware. And my question for Malwarebytes is why would you flag a system UI component in Android as malware when a system UI component, which is part of the Android operating system for Android devices, cannot be uninstalled? Uninstalling the Android system UI component can break the phone, can break the phone entirely if you were to manually uninstall the Android system UI component. The Android system UI is the base system of Android, the user interface of it, like the base system, and removing the base system UI would break the device. That's kind of like having a Windows, like Windows system files flagged as malware and then the Windows system files get deleted, ruining Windows, preventing Windows from starting up normally, or having Linux files on a Linux file system on a Linux just flagged as malware, and the Linux files get removed, rendering the system unusable due to it being flagged as malware. That's just a, a artificial, superficial example of how a malware scanner would flag a system file as infected, even though that this phone uses Android 8.1 Oreo Go edition, and the specs of it are at at least under a gig of RAM. The total RAM, if I can get the box, it's got 16 gigs of data, or 16 gigs of internal memory, rather. It supports 64 gigs of micro SD. It's got 3G data, HSPA, 3G Data International and 3 and 4G HSPA Plus in the United States of America only on T-Mobile or AT&T networks. But this is what it looks like. I like the phone, but my question is Malwarebytes flags the system UI on here as malware, but the system UI is part of the Android 8.1 Oreo Go edition or Android 8.1, the full version. This is the Android Oreo Go because this uses at least 512 megs of RAM of the phone's hardware, which is why they had to put on Android Go. Um, let me see if I can find, let's see. Um, it has the model number and IMEI, so I didn't really want to show the IMEI of the phone at all, but I would call Blue, the company, and ask them about this and things like that. But anyway, this is William Armstrong signing out. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. This is just a follow-up of checking to see if Blue Phones had malware on them, and this seems to not be much of an issue here. Bye-bye.